Hey everyone and welcome to a new video and today we're going to be reviewing the Mini Air 12 uh, PC uh, from Geekum. Now um, before I go into that I want to let you guys know that um, about a year and a quarter about a year and a half ago I would say uh, my main PC went out on me and it was so disappointing losing all my data you know my video editing my emulators so I wish that I had something to separate that stuff on and that's where this system comes in. Now I'm not going to be doing too much of a deep dive of this system, it's just more of a casual experience for more people that might want to use this for uh, gaming related stuff. Now I listened to feedback about my other review videos and uh, people prefer that I break the item down, like I'm doing unboxing pretty much and that's what I'm going to do here. So here we have the Mini Air 12, uh, comes in a basic box I would say, nothing very spectacular about it. As I was opening this, uh, it, was, it was nice to see that this thing had a thank you letter in there for you, you know, that, you know sometimes we take that for granted. so. I appreciate seeing that. Here's a look at the front. As you can see, you got the USB ports, uh, also a headphone jack. Well, I guess for like mostly like speakers too. You can hook speakers to it, and then you have the power button as well. Here's the SD card slot. Thankfully, it has one of those. And then I wasn't sure what this part was uh, for, but uh, yeah, maybe somebody in the comments can help me with that. Now here's a look at the back of the system. You can see the ports on the back. Awesome. You can actually hook this system up to, to three monitors. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hook it to one. But you got your Ethernet, two USB ports, HDMI, so I can play my games on my television, which is great. Now going to the setup. Setup was pretty easy. All you got to do is just hook it up to the internet. And um, I did hook up my PS2 keyboard to it because I didn't want to take my other keyboard off my other computer. But the setup took around 30 minutes. I thought it took a bit long, but hey, to get everything right, that's okay with me. Now this device doesn't come with a graphics card, but I did want to show you guys the specifications here that the system comes with. Now there have been some systems, not from this company, that have actually came with spyware. Uh, this one, I can confirm, does not come with any spyware, but if you're feeling unsafe, you can always reinstall Windows to be on the safe side. Now a computer like this is mainly used, I would say, for light usage, I would say. You're not going to be doing anything heavy on the computer like editing video or playing like AAA titles like Resident Evil Village or things like that. I felt that this device would benefit me more by putting my emulators on there. And an example of that is that I downloaded a PS2 emulator. And a lot of people don't know that Resident Evil Outbreak has been back online through fans for like the last three years. And me and Media Glitch actually played it a few years back online and beat the game. It was a lot of fun. It was especially more fun playing the game now that you have like a talking support. We were all like hanging out on Discord while we played the game and it made it so much more fun. For some reason back in the day, Capcom didn't want you to have voice support, which was really baffling if you think about it. They had predetermined voice actions in the game, which you could kind of get used to, but it would have been like more comfortable to play this game with voice chat with friends. Now, when I captured this footage, I captured it actually twice and I lost the first footage, but um, there was more people online the first time I played the game. And then when I got online the second time, as you can see here, um, there wasn't really anybody online. Most of the people who are playing this game usually play on the weekends unless you set something up because a lot of old school fans know about this game. Now, I don't think a lot of the new Resident Evil people play this game, but hopefully they will. I don't know soon. But uh, going back and playing this game online was a lot of fun and definitely made this system, this, this mini PC worth having for me. I want it to be a dedicated emulator device. Now, there's a lot more you could do with this device, but for me, I just want to stick to emulation because that's all I'm going to use it for. As a backup PC, uh, I, I would use it just for simple use, but you guys know that I do video editing, so I need something that's pretty strong to do my video editing. I'm pretty sure you could edit things like reels or look, little TikTok videos, things like that, but nothing too serious. I just want to put that out there in case anybody's thinking about using this device for video editing. I'm happy that I'm going to have a whole lot of room on this device to put a lot of emulators and old school PC games, I would say. So I'll uh, be able to capture the footage uh, way easier on this device than any other one. I just, I just feel like this is just a safe, dedicated device to have that stuff on. But anyways, guys, um, let me know in the comments if you plan on purchasing one of these. I'll have all the information in the description. And that's all I got for you in this video, guys. The Radical One, and I will see you all later.